it's time. Today we make. So far, we've learned the basics of steering behaviors, how to follow a path, and how to avoid collisions. We need to end this chaos. Ted is now in charge, everyone. Congratulations, Ted. You've been promoted. And all of you will follow Ted's lead. Leader following behavior. The goal is to make Tedlings go after Ted without clumping together. Doesn't it sound familiar? Ted is meant to slow down gradually as he's approaching the target. We assume everyone moves in a similar direction and all we want is to prevent crowding. So we basically have everything we need. Tedlings will use arrival to go behind the leader while also avoiding each other using separation. The Tedling Society is progressing. Now with the thriving monarchy. Yeah. Let's teach them some manners. Q behavior. Here's the problem we are dealing with. Many Tedlings need to cross through a narrow gap, and going at full speed without considering other Tedlings is not going to work. So we want them to slow down when someone else is in front of them. How do we make a braking force? Essentially, when we want a Tedling to break, we mean that the desired velocity is zero, which is exactly what arrival behavior is doing. So when a tedling should break, we can simply use the arrival behavior. It looks a bit rough, but after a few iterations, I made it work. Without a leader, the Tedlings need some sense of community to bring them all back together. Cohesion behavior. Cohesion is about sticking together, steering towards the center point of all the neighbors. It's very simple. We calculate the average position of all neighbors and use the seek behavior. works pretty well. Bruh. Oh no! The Tedlings are fighting! How can we align them to the same standards? Alignment behavior. While very similar to cohesion, alignment adjusts the direction and speed to the average of the neighbors. Or in other words, the average velocity of the neighbors is our desired velocity. Good job everyone! Now we have everything we need to assemble the boys! Flock behavior To create a flock, all we have to do is combine cohesion, alignment and separation. That concludes the steering behaviors series. The source code is available in the description.